And this is kind of, this is at least what I'm coming away with, is that you're living different realities. Mm -hmm. And the one person, the person who got upset when he got, you know, um, asked a question about my stepson, he just wanted to know what, if he, this kid happened to know where the basketball court is. He was the only kid there. And the kid assumed Weston, he didn't assume it. It was actually a wonderful interaction. And the young man Weston interacted with, they actually just questioned each other MOs. Nobody called anybody a racist. It, look, it looked like this. Weston goes, hey dude, um, I'm not from this area. Do you happen to know where the basketball court is? And the, and the kid said, oh, did you, just ask, you just asked me that because I'm black? And which is, hey, it's a legitimate question. He didn't curse at him. Mm. He didn't call him a racist. He asked him what his motivation was. Hmm. Or that is, were you and, making, and, what and he and asked he, him as a behavior analyst, were you making a conditional discrimination based on my skin tone and racial characteristics, mm. okay? Is that, that's what he was asking him. And Weston said this, did you just ask me that question because I'm white? No. Huh. And the kid kind of stopped in his tracks for a yeah, second yeah. to think about it. Yeah. And what Weston did was, Weston questioned his motivation. And what he, Weston was asking was, would you have asked this if the same situation happened, yeah. except the other person were black? Would you, would you ask the same thing? Yeah. Now, maybe he would have, but probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's it, interesting. And, and so, yeah. so, but here's the thing: is is the black kid, the the young black man, was he in was he uh, oversensitive? Shouldn't he just like relax about it? Okay, so it, let's say this is the five hundredth time somebody has associated him with basketball in some manner in his life. Is he oversensitive, or is he completely fed up? with people's racial stereotypes, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So if it happened to, if I got asked 500 times, hey, Meryl, you're white, I bet you like hockey. It's like, no, I, no, I don't watch hockey. I don't care for hockey. I didn't grow up around hockey. I grew up in South Florida. I like basketball. I played basketball, okay? We have basketball courts within two blocks of my house. We had no hockey rinks. Okay, so you know, but but the point is, is I've never been asked that. That's it, the whole thing's interesting. Now, what did Weston say, or what did the guy say to they, Weston? It just kind of fizzled out. Like you know, I think he finally told them where it was. But I just thought it was a nice interchange between people of two different races that questioned each other on their motives, but nothing went nasty, nothing went sideways. Yeah. you know, and, so, like, and maybe it made Weston well, think just to be a little bit considerate, because you're trying to put yourself in the other person's shoes. You say, dude, I know this seems racist AF. Mm. Right? But you're the only one here and I'm really pressed for time and I apologize. And I know all black people do not care or love or good at basketball, but do you happen to know what the basketball court mm. is? Now if he said that, the dude might still have, like maybe he thinks he's lying, I don't know. But my guess is the kid would have not have had as bad a reaction because yeah. what you're doing is you're calling yourself out and you're also saying, I understand that someone like me might ask somebody these basketball laden questions mm -hmm. and they've probably done it a thousand times and I am going to be sensitive to that but I'm also just saying dude I just lost okay and I'm also acknowledging I don't want you to take it the wrong way yeah. so that's a, you know and that's a reasonable kind of a thing that's but I think, a, that's something that somebody can say did you have to say the question that? Weston asked yeah. was was really the it's best a, question ever like, are you saying that because I'm white? Are you asking me that because I'm white, right? Uh, yeah, Weston if actually. I, if I heard it correctly. Yes, he's my stepson, but what he got a sense of humor say? from me. I think he just kind of stopped and he went like, you know, like that. He just, he didn't really have anything to say back to it. And the fact of the matter was, I think he recognized, well, Weston's right. It doesn't mean that the, the young uh, kid was, was wrong, right? It just means he had bias from a lifetime mm -hmm. of who knows what. Yeah. We don't know this kid. I don't know this kid. I don't know what people have said to him. But the chances are that he's been subjected to racist comments, stereotypical remarks. The chances are, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a reasonable assumption, I think. What were the conditions of, like, did he go into a neighborhood that were mostly black? No, no, folks? it wasn't. It was, just, like, it was just like a bunch of different people. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the young man happened to be the only one nearby. Okay, yeah. so he's just like, they were just passing. Hey, dude. Yeah. Uh, and I think actually... I think Weston's friend actually knew the kid, but Weston didn't really know the kid. The bias is working both ways. What was, what, what, but, I don't know. but anyway, that whole interchange got yeah. me thinking, what was, what was happening there? What's going on? You know, what can you say about it? And, and again, is that something you can even talk about when it comes to function or whatever? Like, uh, would it be like uh, you, you, in your analysis, reverse engineering the whole interaction, would you, 
I guess you would have to know a lot of things about the person's history, all those questions, but would you be like, well, maybe the, the function uh, speculation or in my inference is, this kid asked a question for attention because he wanted a reaction. Uh, like, what, what are um, all the things that go yeah, through Yeah, I didn't really go through that because it wasn't really analysis of... Um, and you can't really ask. Yeah, in that yeah. one, yeah, and you don't know. But yeah. the, the, the issue was the, it, that it, the question that it brought up. But I also just thought that the words the kids used, did you ask me that because I'm black, was... This is another interesting thing about the interaction. Years ago, um, someone, a person who was black, when I was a kid, that was not a phrase. That was not a phrase. It's not a phrase. Black people didn't say, did you say that just because I'm black? Um, I think that maybe, I hope anyway, people are more comfortable to ask that question. And that's what I liked about the interaction. So that's, in, in some ways, that's a good thing because it, it, um, I think it's generationally, the, 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 the kid was comfortable saying, they, are you asking They that? were comfortable enough with each other. Like I think Weston's friend knew the kid, but Weston didn't know the kid. Mm -hmm. So, but, and that's another thing is familiarity has something to do with the way you're going to take something. Why? If I don't know you, maybe I even suspect like you're a jerk or something mm -hmm. if I don't know you. If you say something, my bias is already going to be kind of high. I don't know you, mm -hmm. and I'm more likely to take it the wrong way. If I know you well, and you're a good friend, yeah. and you said the same thing, I might just say, you just raised this AF, and then mm -hmm. you'll laugh, and then I'll laugh, but that can only be done if we are friends. Yeah, due to that and relationship I know you and actually, that, that history. Yeah. I know that you actually know who I am. You are not making assumptions about me, right? And you like me, and you care about me, and I trust you. Right? This is vit. This, this, you could have all kinds of conversations with people once that takes place. Yeah. But if you don't know the person, everybody's bias is like jacked up. And then yeah. when they know you and like you, the bias comes down. Mm. And then you can have difficult conversations. <laughs>